Hi, it's Vicky here and welcome to the fourth day of my fun week featuring Penny Black. Today I will be using again the same stamp set, but this time I will be using the moon with those two cute little mice. I am going to stamp them with my Memento Tuxedo Black ink on white cardstock just because I am going to use my Copic markers to add some color on them. And just like I did on yesterday's video, I am going to use my thin pen and add some eyelashes on one of those uh, mice so that it uh, uh, now is an image of a boy and a girl. I am going to do the same coloring like I did yesterday, so I am going to mainly keep uh, both mice uh, white, but uh, I am adding some uh, blush on um, the, her cheeks as well as on the ears, and now I'm adding just a a little bit of uh, grey to create some uh, shadows. The grey Copic marker that I am using is C1 and uh, when it dries it's going to be even more paler. Once I'm happy with the coloring of uh, my critters, I am going to go ahead and color the moon. For the moon again I am using my Copic marker and I'm not going to do any shading at all because I plan to add some uh, stickles on top. So all I'm doing at the moment is just covering up the whole area of the moon and uh, just applying a base color. Once I am going to apply stickles on top, it's going to, to pick up the color from the background because I will be using a rock candy, which is actually transparent. So I am using my scissors now. I am going to cut out the whole image and I am also using a black marker around the edges to get rid of that uh, white edge and this is going to help uh, my image look like it was perfectly cut out. This is where I am using uh, stickles and uh, just because the tip of this uh, applicator isn't as fine as I would like to, I decided to apply it with a metal tool that I have. You can always of course use your brush but uh, I am too lazy to wash the brush out of uh, stickles because stickles is actually a glue. So I think that it's uh, super easy to clean up this tool with just um, a baby wipe. Now I'm going to leave this to dry and as this is drying I am going to create my panel. Now for the panel I am uh, going to create a night scene and uh, my go-to colors for creating a night sky is first of all faded jeans which I am applying with my uh, blending applicator. Then I will go ahead and use some uh, chipped sapphire and notice how I am going to leave an area um, untouched just because I want this area to be slightly lighter than the rest of the sky. I'm going to show you what I mean. So this is where I didn't touch with my second color. This is where I will be adding the moon and I want this to be slightly lighter than the rest of the sky. And finally I'm going to add just a little bit of black soot to darken uh, some areas mainly on the edges and again I am staying away from the lighter area on my sky. Now my background is ready and uh, all that's left to do is to add the sentiment. For the sentiment I am going for with the sentiment that's in this uh, cute stamp set. This is also by Penny Black and I am going to use this stamp set tomorrow on Friday's video so make sure to stay tuned. I am going to stamp with Versamark ink happy together and then I'm going to apply my embossing powder. For my embossing powder today I'm using Bright White by Woe. And if you find that uh, your embossing powder sticks in areas that you don't want to, it's always nice to have a soft brush close by. I'm going to heat set it with my heat gun. And just to remind you that as always you can find a full list of all the supplies that I'm using today just below the video in the description area as well as on my blog. Now I'm using just a touch of gesso which I am going to dilute with water and with a thin brush I'm going to add some splashes. These splashes are going to be the stars on my sky. And on today's card I decided to add a fun element so I am going to be using this um, wobble. It's a spring actually that has a adhesive on both sides so I'm going to peel off one side and stick it at the back of my uh, image and then I'm going to peel off the other side and stick it directly on top of my sky. 
Yesterday I saw a card by Barb, a blog friend of mine, that uh, she used one of those wobbles and that reminded me that I had those laying around forever, so it was about time to give them some love. I'm using red cardstock and I'm going to punch out a couple of cards. Actually, I have now more than I need, but um, I am going to stick uh, this uh, panel on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half, and I am using foam tape at the back to secure it. So I'm going to peel off the foam tape. To stick the little hearts on top of my card, I will be using my gel medium, which I have in this fine tip applicator. So first I am placing uh, the heart just uh, to, to decide where everything is going to go and once I'm happy with the placement I'm just sticking, sticking them down. Now just to add the same texture as uh, the texture on the moon I am adding uh, just a little bit of um, rock candy stickles on top of uh, both of those cards. And that was the card for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired, and if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are some close-up photos of the card. And if you need more inspiration, here are two more Valentine's Day cards that I made using Penny Black products. Thank you all for watching!